Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's have some fun. Stay tuned. So first I want to say to everyone who's watching this video and you are not yet a subscriber, I hope, I hope that after watching the fun that we're about to have, I will earn your subscription. So if you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join this online crafting family. So in yesterday's video, we made this awesome little paper purse and guys, it turned out beautifully. We were able to get two paper purses from one file folder. So it's a very economical way to craft and a very cute way to craft. So today we are going to make this fabulous bag. And this bag, when finished, measures five and five eighths by six and a half. And it is three inches deep. And it is a beaut. Y'all, let's make it. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and I have a file folder that I have cut down in size. And basically the size that you trim it down to is up to you. All I did was cut off enough at the top to take off the tab portion. And I'm going to use what is left. So let's open this up. And we're going to place our center mark in and I'm just going to place mine on a whole number because I am going to score one and one half inches on both sides of that center mark. So I placed it at eight, I'm scoring at six and a half, and then I'll come over and score at nine and a half. And this is what will give me a three inch base for this box. Now I'm going to place this back in and on both sides, I'm going to score at three. So I'll score down as far as I can go. Then I'll just flip it, go back to my three mark and continue scoring until the three mark that I just started hits the three mark that um, I did first. So I'll flip it over and I'll go to the three mark on this side and I'm going to score down as far as I can and then I'll just flip this and again I'll go back to my three mark and score so now we can fold and burnish the scores but I am not going to do a very hard fold of my score marks and I am not going to do a hard burnishing and the reason for that is this file folder is rather thick and it might crack if we burnish it too much. So that's good enough right there. So now what I am going to do is this is my center right here. So I have these two tabs and I am simply going to go up to the score mark, the intersecting score mark, and I am going to drag down. And then I'll cut in just a little bit. And I'll do that over here as well. And then let's cut in. And then I am going to reduce this down to about half of the size. I'll rotate it over to the other side. And I am going to repeat the process. So I'll go up to the score mark, drag down, then I'll cut in at an angle. I'll come over to this score mark. I'm going to drag down, cut in, and then trim away some of this. And it is truly as easy as this. So now we have our bag shape. So I am going to bring in my punch and punch a handle hole. Now you don't have to do this step, but I do like this bag with a hole in it. 
So now I'm going to come to this end and try to match up my hole placement. I happen to like these type bags with a little hole. So I eyeballed where I actually punched my holes. Hopefully I got it close enough. So now at this point, it's just a matter of putting this together. So I am going to take my glue, place my glue on one of these. And then I'll also place my glue on the inside of this. And now I can bring this up, get this stuck just like this. And then I'll go ahead and bring this over and get that stuck. Now I can go in with my bone folder and just get the entire thing stuck down. And now I'll do the same thing on this side. So I am going to place some glue here. And then I'll place some glue on this. Then I'll take this piece, I'm going to fold it over right there, get it stuck. And then I'll go ahead and just fold this piece. I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and even at the top before I come back, go on the inside and smooth everything out. And guys, it really is as simple as I just showed you to make this adorable little bag. And you can make up bunches of these for an event that you might be having for a party, as gifts for people in the office once we're back in our offices, just all types of goodies. So now all I need to do is take my finger and be very gentle at this point. And I am going to just force this to a point on the inside. And you can see how gorgeous this is. Okay guys, so now that our bag is made, and I think she's a cutie, I am going to do some very simple decorating. So I have these beautiful paper flowers that I got from Tuesday morning, and I love how they just flow with the colors. So I am going to take some of my hot glue, and I put hot glue on the back, and then I am just going to get this stuck down. I want this flower to hang over just a little bit because I like that look. So just like that, we have a completed bag. It does not get any simpler or any cuter than this when we're making file folder crafts. And these bags are just so super easy to make. And like I said, when finished, they measure five and five eighths by six and a half, and they are three inches deep. We have got some great depth on these bags, which means that you can put all types of goodies in these and you can also use these as substitute Easter baskets. Just build it up with some grass and put some really fun things inside for the person that you may be giving it to or shipping it to. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, stay safe, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.